The paragraph today will come from Genesis 19, verse 17, 26, and, tw and 29. Verse 17, read thusly. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, Flew for your lives. Don't look back. And don't stop anywhere in the, pla in the, pla in the plain. Flew to the mountains, or you will be swept away. And I will go down to... Verse 26. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. And I'll go down to 29. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrown the cities where Lot had lived. Back in uh, today, I am going to go on to give you uh, the topic will be when you get out don't look back keep on moving part two when you get out don't you ever look back keep on moving part two in part one you will see that uh, i went into the deep into the bible the research of the bible how all this Sudan and Gomorrah thing came, how Abraham went and intercede in, in prayer. Uh, a lot of us will not understand. People will say, oh, Abraham was talking to God about, can 50 people, 50 people is in the city. Can you uh, 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 allow them to live instead of destroying the city? And, just, and God said, yes. But Abraham was actually praying, my people. He was praying to God, like me and you will pray and he talk to God. But in this prayer, it was a prayer of intercession. He was interceding for this city called Sodom and Gomorrah. So today we're going to move on. I'm going to come out to reality of life. In, 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 in that 26, Lord, Lord's wife turned back to look at the, 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 the smuggling of the city of Sodom. Clinging to the past, she was unwilling to turn completely away. Are you looking back, longing at whatever you are longing for? Lot was looking back of everything that is losing, his gold, his uh, jewelry, his maybe cars and, and life, good job, or, or whatever you can think you can look back, which I'm bringing into reality how we are living today. Jesus Christ said it all in Luke chapter 9 verse 42 Jesus replied no one who puts his hand to the plow to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God and if you check back to to uh, Matthew 14 22 23 to 33 you find out where where Peter came out and saw Jesus and start walking on the water but what did the bible say when Peter remember just look at he look back and the looking back of Peter was he started stepping into the water and uh, sinking but he was walking in the water the, his faith lack and what did Jesus said Jesus said to him he said he called out to Jesus for help Jesus caught him and reproved him for his lack of faith my brothers and sisters sometimes we look back because of lack of faith what are you looking back for and if you go we can go on and on there are so many places in uh, in the Bible, are you looking back, taking your eyes into your past, your past, or, or uh, uh, in the in the in, in your in your life that you can't let go? She, but Lot looked back. She took her eyes off the part of the Lord. When we look back, we take our eyes out of the part of God. She looked back to the world instead of forward to God's plan for her life. When we look back, we forget about God. We just take our life in our hands like we know what we're doing. But we're supposed to depend solely on God. Solely. What did I say? We depend solely. That means when you move forward, you do not look back. You continue to move. Like uh, uh, the Bible say, you press on to the future and forget your past. So now. Here comes my question to you today. Like I said, I'm going to come out to reality for what we're going through in life. When we look back, we, 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 we fail to see Jesus. 
We fail to see the plan of Jesus in our pre- in our front. When we look back, we forget everything Jesus and God and Holy Spirit have done for us. When we look back, we are ungrateful. When we look back, we can't be grateful. We can't worship Him. We can't be. be we can't. We can't even look look to say, "Oh, this are it." We we look back. We don't remember what God have done for us. When we look back, we become that prodigal child. We become that that ungrateful element to God. We become that wicked children to God. When we look back, we don't we don't remember that there's someone that wake us up in that in, the, in that day. There's someone that that shook us up. That even the dead angel came to pass us, but the life angel said, "No, no, 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 not this one, not this one." When we look back, we are ungrateful, y'all. That's why you see, sometimes in my teaching, I go all around. I on Wednesday, I bring you guys prayers of gratefulness and thanksgiving. I bring preaching, I bring teaching because I want all of us to get this word of God. Whether you like it or not, Jesus will not come until he, he said he will not come until his word will be spread all over the world, all corner. So whether we think we can do it, he will do it one way or the other. So that's why I try my best by his grace, by his mercy, by his power to teach it all. That we have to be grateful. When we look back, we are so ungrateful. So now, let me come to you there. Where is your faith? Where is your obedience to God? That's when you look back. Have you taken your eyes off Christ? That's when you look back. That's why I said, when you get out, don't look back. Keep on moving. Are you looking back in your anger? Your sadness? Your anxiousness? When you are anxious of pain? Your pain of your past? My mama, my papa was not there for me. My parents deserted me, rejected. Are you looking back for the rejection? The violence of your family? The abuse? That you get through that your father, your mother, your uncle, your auntie, or whatever. What are you looking back, my brothers and sisters? What are you looking back? The person that lied on you? Your ex, husband or wife that lied on you, betray you? Dump you? Give you a sort of name? When you look back, what are you looking back? Because of the suffering you have gone through? Because somebody have lied to you? Or right now you are hearing my voice in the jail. Today you are in jail for no reason because you are in the wrong place at the wrong time and somebody lied against you and now you are in jail paying for what you didn't do, my brother, what you didn't do, my sister, when you look back. But I come today to encourage you, to give you the word of encouragement when you look back, when you you get out, never you look back. Keep on moving. Because that's what I tell people. Only dog go back to their vomit. Proverb 26, 11. Only, only the dogs go back to their vomit. Woman beings are not dog, y'all. Say, as a dog returns to his vomit, so fools repeat their folly. We are no fools. And we don't want to be fools. So let us look move forward. Keep on moving. Forget your past. Press on to your future. Because it is through that scripture we find that if we are faithful to God and confess our sins, we will be forgiven and cleansed. Through prayer and spiritual growth, we can more easily put our past behind us and move forward to achieve the great things God has planned for us. Use this, all these things I'm saying today to help yourself. It is not easy, but you, you can make it easy. My, the Bible said, Jesus said, my yoke is easy. And he will never give us sorrow. He will give us blessings. If we confess our sins, he's so faithful and he will forgive us our sins. He will purify us from unrighteousness. 
Philippians 3, 13, 14 said, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, say that again, one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and sustaining towards that what is ahead. 14 said, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ's name. It's like the, 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 the footballers are pressing to get to the foot, to the goal. It's like the soccer's are pressing, pressing to get to the goal. The basketballers are pressing to get to their goal. The, the same way this Christian journey is when we are pressing forward. Sometimes we are weak. Sometimes the, the suffering and pain of this world is so tiring. Even me that is talking to you, y'all. I am not accepted on this. Sometimes I'm weak. Sometimes I don't feel like doing this, but I keep on pressing on. I keep on saying, God, the joy of the Lord is my strength and your grace is sufficient for me. The trouble of this world, the temptation of the world, come on me, press on me, but I keep on moving. It's not because it was too easy. So don't look at it as if you are alone, my brother. As if you're alone, my sister, you are not alone. This is a journey everybody's going through. They say that if you go out there and shout, you will find out that you don't even have a problem. Because somebody will come and ask you, say, you're shouting for that you don't have a shoe? Don't you see that I don't have a leg? You're crying that you don't have uh, uh, glasses to put on your eyes? Don't you see that I'm blind? You are crying that you don't have a, 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 a money. Don't you see that I do? I I have money that I don't have. Don't have a good health. Go to the hospitals, visit hospitals, so that you can be grateful to God and forget your past, forget that abuse from your family, forget that abuse from your parents, your father, your mother, forget that wickedness from your friends, from your ex, from you anyone. Forget that lie. They lie to you. Move on. Isaiah 43, 18, 19 said, forget the former days. Do not dwell on the past. The Bible is right. I love the word of God. That's why I dwell in it. He kept me going. I couldn't be here. I couldn't do what I'm doing. I should have been dead, forgotten. Don't even know where I was buried. But today, hallelujah, because of the word of God, I keep on pressing on. So my people, when I preach, I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I preach the authentic of it because I am a living testimony of what I say. I am a living testament. I am living today because of him. I am living because he lives in me. If not, whew, the, the, the plan of the devil and his group and people, I would have been dead. Don't even know where I would, I would have been buried. But hallelujah to God. I said, God, I will, if I live, if you kept me and keep on keeping me, I will bless your holy name. Your praises will continue to be in my mouth and I will preach your gospel all over the world. Isaiah 43. Forget the former things. 18 through 19. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it spring up. Hallelujah. Do not perceive it. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the water land. That is my word of God. People ask me, Joy, how do you deal with it? Joy, you're always happy. Yeah, I'm, I made a choice to be happy. I don't care what I go through. <laughs> I just say, God, this is your problem. And joy, you don't have no problem because I carry you to the altar of God and I have talk with him, I discuss with him, I wipe my tears and I keep on going like nothing happened. So nobody understands what I go through because I give it to the auto and finisher, the carrier of my body, <laughs> the uh, sins, uh, that my sin swallow, the one that swallow all my bodies and pain and suffering. When I give it to him, I don't look back. I keep on moving in the name of Jesus. I keep on lifting me up. I keep on lifting him up. I keep on loving him. I keep on thanking him. I keep on singing praises. I keep on worshiping him. Don't think about my problem because he said, when you take care of my business, Joy, I will take care of you. Galatians 2.22 said, I come to encourage you, my sister. I come to encourage you, my brothers. I come to encourage you, you that young one, you that girl right there that is thinking that you're going to use your body to make money because you think that there's no job. Come on, get up and look for a job and cover your body. You that young man there looking for old man to go and mess with their money because you think you don't have to. They say job out there. Come on, get up and walk for your, for your, for your, 
handwork of your hand, God will bless it. Stop being lazy. I came to encourage you to let you know that God is with you when you choose to follow God. Galatians 2, 20 to 22. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God. For if uh, if righteousness could be gained through the law, Christ died for nothing. Jesus died for something. He died for us. He died for you. He died for me. So let us pick it up and understand that he didn't die for nothing. Matthew 6, 15 said, if you, But if you do not forgive others the sin, your father will not forgive your sin. So, if you think somebody have done you so wrong, you keep on holding that unforgiving spirit. He, 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 he forgive me. He, he did this. Forgive him! Release that person today. Release that your mother. Release that your father. Release that your brother. Release that your uncle that raped you. Whoever that raped you. Whoever that raped you. I said, I don't know who I'm talking to. Whoever that raped you. Whoever that molests you. Whoever that abuse you. Whoever that mess with you. Whoever that take your, your, your goodness, your good heart for granted. Whoever that take him because you love the Lord for granted. Forgive them. Release them. Because it's a canker worm. The more you hold back, the more you are dying. And the people you are holding, they are, they are, they are enjoying their life. Forgive them, the Bible said it. Forgive them. Release them. And move on with your life. Peter replied, Repent and baptize every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When you forgive your people that have done wrong to you, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will come upon you and cleanse you from everything they do to you and you move on in a new life. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Hallelujah. The whole has gone. The new is here. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry, ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, 18. Jesus replied, No one who put their hand in the plan looks back is fit for the service in the kingdom of God. My brothers and sisters, hear me and hear me good. My topic today, when you look, when you get out of, when you get, when you get out, don't look back, keep on moving. And I'm giving you this encouraging word to keep on moving. Do not fight because those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. Psalm 37 to 6. For like the grass, they will soon be withered. Like green plant, they will soon die away. Your enemies, people that mess with you, enemies that are still messing, Satan that is calling upon you and saying, they will die away. Look at the Bible, the word of God is what I'm reading here. For like grass, they will soon with that like green plant, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Commit your way to God, my brothers and sisters. Trust in him, my brothers and sisters, and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like a dawn and your vindication like a new day. That is the word of God. I come today to encourage you not to give up not to give up on anything oh my mama do this no you have your life to live sometimes the mother that birthed you might not be the right one might not be the one that will take care of you keep on going life is what it is there is so much to deal with in life once you wake up in the morning is a battlefield but you got to hold someone to go with you on that battlefield. <laughs> you have to call upon God, <laughs> pick up Jesus Christ, and pick up Holy Spirit. Then you pick up their word because the word covers three of them. And you keep on running that race. And Satan in the pit, in the pit of hell, you send him back to hell where he belongs. The devil, people, will, you, Satan will use our demons and power. You send them to hell where they belong because you have the power. That resurrected God from Jesus from death. The power that resurrected Lazarus from death. The power that made the dry bones speak and talk. The power that brought the three Hebrews women from the fire. The power is still alive, my brother. Is still alive, my sister. That power that sealed the mouth of lions for Daniel. Come on now. He's still alive. Come on. Have faith in God. When you get out, never you look back. 
keep on moving because those boys, the Hebrew boys would have looked back. But they said, Nebuchadnezzar, sir, if you think that uh, we should worship your God, uh, even if our God, even if, <laughs> hallelujah, even if our God did not show up, uh, we are good. We are good. It, it's a song that uh, God, as he pleases you, let it be. Come to a place where you say, God, as he pleases you, let it be. If I perish, I perish. If I die, I die. But God, I will say the truth. I will live the life. I will forget my past. As he pleases you, be like the Hebrews, my boys. And when the Nebuchadnezzar threw him them into the fire, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, I'm sure he removed his glasses and wiped his face like one person do. Uh -huh. Wipe it again. So, Did I not put three people there? Why is it for? That is my father. Jesus Christ showed up there. He was one in three person. God showed up there. Holy Spirit showed up there. And he starts seeing four people. He said, when two or three are gathered together, he's in the midst. Have faith. Never you give up and be thinking about this demon. When they come, rebuke them. Every word that comes to you from your past, rebuke them in the name of Jesus after this word. Rebuke them. Keep on listening. Keep on listening so that you can carry this word of God and keep on telling them, spread this word of God because people are going through a lot. Don't let them go look back. Your friends or family, tell them to stop looking back. Put them into this. Say, go and listen to this. The God that gave Sarah a child when nobody, I'm sure during Sarah time, some of them were even saying, mm, he's a man, he will not even have a baby. <laughs> when God showed up, he showed up, he gave him Isaac. The God that take an orphan from an orphan to a, to, to a palace is the same God I'm talking about. The one that take Nehemiah from a cup bearer to governor is the same God I'm talking about. Especially the one that take the Joseph from all pit of hell. Joseph went from one pit to another with his own family brothers. Oh, wow. Who will get abused than Joseph? Let me pause right here. Who are you crying? This person do me this. Different. Joseph's family is the one that really, really abused the poor boy. <laughs> they couldn't kill him. They said, let's just throw him. They oh no, bring him out. Let us sell him. But where did they sell him to? <laughs> to the palace where, according to the Bible, they said the only thing that Pharaoh did not give to, uh, Potiphar did not give to Joseph was Joseph, what it was his wife. Joseph was the head of everything. My brothers and sisters, what I'm trying to say to you today, if you move on, and keep on moving. The Lord will show up. Wipe away your tears. <laughs> Wipe away those sufferings and pain. And delete your memory about them. And you will never look back. I'm a living testimony. I don't look like what I've gone through. <laughs> when you see me, you think it's bubbling. Come on now. If I tell you fires I've gone through. But I didn't care. Because I pour water of Holy Spirit in it. I keep on going. I do my thing. I say I don't care. Devil go to hell. Because I have a God Almighty. Who hold my hands. Who say come on joy let's go i am a living god the king of kings and lord of lords for so my brothers and sisters today after you hear this part two of when you get out don't look back keep on moving keep on moving you are not a non-living thing keep on moving hear your relationship keep on moving hear your marriage keep on moving hear your education Keep on moving. I don't care if you drop off in elementary. Go back to school. Education has no age. Go back to school. Wear your uniform. Go back to school. Keep on moving. In looking for that job you want to. Keep on moving. In looking for that house you are looking for. Keep on moving. In your calling your ministry. If you ministry God call you, don't give up. Keep on moving. If you're a child that want to do right, do right. Obey your parents. Do, don't disobey nobody. Keep on moving. When the bullies are bullying you, push them away and keep on moving. Because after all said and done, you're going to meet them. God bless you. I hope and pray that this word will pierce your heart and the Lord will use this word to deliver you from your past that you are not a mon monument. You are a movement. You are not a unchanging. You are a changing catalyst. You can change anybody around your family. You can be the first person to keep on moving. You are not a fool. You are a wise and wisdom person, a wisdom man, wisdom woman. So you cannot go back to your vomit. The Bible says to I go and check it in 26 11. Dog goes back to their vomit like the fool, fool goes back to their folly. You are not a fool, I know. Therefore, move forward in Jesus' name. If you have not received Christ as the Lord, He'll save you. 
I've said enough for you to receive him. <laughs> receive the one that brought the three Hebrews out of fire. <laughs> you know what I love about that? He said, your hair, put your hair close to fire, you are gone. He <laughs> said, your hair did not burn. Candle shanda. Hey, the one that made the Israelites walk in 40 years. But you know what I like? He said, their yeah, shoe did not turn. Me and you will wear one shoe one week. We buy another one. These people wear that shoe and clothes for 40. That's my God. I'm calling upon you. Receive him. <laughs> or the one that gave Moses to his mother and still pay Moses' mother. We are in America. We understand what we mean. Still pay Moses' mother a child care money. To take care of his own son. Come That's a topic of another day. Hallelujah. God made Moses' mother to babysit Moses. And at the same time pay Moses' mother. Come on. Oh, people here will understand that. Uh, babysitting money and child support. Child, uh, child care. It's a lot of money. But Moses' mother did not have to bother about that because God gave him double for his trouble. Because he had David, he has Moses as Hebrew women can have Moses. Hallelujah. So I am telling you to receive that Jesus, the one that died for your sin. And after three days, they spit on him, they beat him, they did everything they did to you, they abused him, they cursed him, they spit on him, they like a highway robber, he died like a, like a thief, he died like a, like a sinner, a sinless man, everything you are, they've done to you, they did it to my God, they spit on him, they beat him with belt and cobok and everything, but he died for you and me, accept him today, and when you get out, don't look back. Keep on moving. And congratulations for accepting him today. And God bless you as you accept him. And let the word of God, the word of my mouth, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my King of kings. I thank you. I bless your holy name for this word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for giving me the, for, for, bringing this word to, to your to, to your people and father let this word change them let this word be a changing catalyst let this word be a holy spirit what they would holy spirit walk on them jesus walk on them power of god walk on them in jesus much less name i pray this prayer amen amen and amen god bless you all and as you hear this word share it don't be selfish share the word of god so that jesus will not tarry because until we share it to the whole world, Jesus will not come. So he's waiting for us to share his word. And all of you that have been sharing, I'm so grateful. You know, I've been so grateful to all of you. I've been, I've been sending messages to all of you. Thank you, everyone that is sharing the word of God one way or the other. God bless you all. Amen. I'm going to find time to do the authentic talk soon. So authentic talk is coming soon. Coming soon, coming soon. A very hot topic that everybody have sent me email and say, where is our authentic talk? So I am coming soon on that one. So be ready. It's coming soon. Amen. God bless you all. Amen.